I want to um, follow up on uh, the comments from the senator from Montana and Maryland who spoke just so eloquently and clearly about the consequences of adopting the House concurrent resolution which sets spending levels for the next year. Uh, in my view, a vote for H.R. 1 would be indeed a reckless vote because the consequences of such severe cuts in some areas as outlined particularly by the senator from Maryland, the senator from Montana, would be in fact reckless and as it relates to my subcommittee, which I wanted to speak about for a moment, and that's the Subcommittee on Homeland Security, Mr. President, not an inconsequential area of our responsibility, protecting the 350 plus million Americans that live here in the United States and trust that we're doing our jobs well enough to keep them safe every day from rising threat levels from a variety of different sources. That's what our job is on the Homeland Security Appropriations Committee. And I am gonna be voting against HR1 because in my view, it goes too far and it puts our homeland in jeopardy. And let me be clear, in the State of the Union, the President stated that Al Qaeda and its affiliates continue to plan attacks against our nation. He stressed that extremists are trying to inspire acts of violence by those within our borders. According to the Attorney General in the last two years, 126 individuals have been indicted for terrorist-related activities, including 50 of our own citizens. The Homeland Security Secretary appeared before my subcommittee last week and said that the threat of terrorist attacks is as high as it's been since 9-11. And what do the Republican leaders just newly minted and elected come to Washington to do? slash the Homeland Security budget. I'm not going to do that. And I would urge my colleagues not to do that. In view of these threats, we cannot reduce the Homeland Security budget to levels that preceded the Christmas Day bombing attempt, the Times Square bombing attempt, the air cargo bombing attempt, and the Fort Hood shooting, and before the escalation of violence and drugs along the Mexican border, we had one of our agents gunned down just three weeks ago. What does this budget do that they're recommending? Slashing border security. We literally spilled blood on this floor, almost rot building that fence along the border and adding border security. Now they want to dismantle it? I don't think so. The bill makes deep cuts in state and local grants to train and equip first responders. Do they think it's gonna be the FBI agents that are walking around Times Square every day looking for a smoking car? No, it's gonna likely be a local New York firefighter or police officer or a citizen walking by noticing something and calling the police. We have very small, really relatively small training grants available. They cut that by over 50%. Is that smart? I don't think so. The House bill cuts border security infrastructure programs when violence in Mexico it is an unprecedented level. The House bill will cut Coast Guard acquisitions despite a need to recapitalize its aging fleet. And when the Coast Guard mission continues to expand, as was so clear just not even a year ago on April 20th when the Deep Horizon exploded, who did you call? When you went to 911 and said there's a rig on fire, who did we call? The Coast Guard. How did they get to the rig? On cutters and boats that we build. What did they do with the Coast Guard budget? They cut it almost below maintenance levels for, for situations like this. The House bill cuts port security and transit security. In London and Madrid, how many more terrorists have to attack trains before we realize there is a level you cannot go beneath without putting our citizens at risk, and we are perilously close to that level. The House bill reduces Transportation Security Administration procurement of explosive 
detection technologies that TSA needs to respond uh, as we've developed since the Christmas, you know, the bombing, uh, the attempted bombing at Christmas time. And cybersecurity, I haven't even spoken about this. It's very difficult, and some of this is, is classified information, and it's not something that people can really grasp as well as they can understand explosives on trains and airplanes, which is, I guess, easier to visualize. But thank you. I have um, one additional minute. I just asked for one additional minute. But Without objection. But, you know, these attacks through, um, through our Internet and through the new interconnecting technologies now that our uh, electric grid and all of our um, companies depend on need to be secured as well. So I'm just going to conclude and put the rest of in the statement uh, in the record. But the House bill, H.R. 1, cuts port security grants by 66%. Transportation security grants by 66 percent. It cuts FEMA. It cuts the Coast Guard below levels that are safe. Now, Homeland Security is the newest agency. I realize that we have to make cuts and bring our budget into balance. If this were a plan to get us to a balanced budget, Mr. President, I would support it. But it's not. It's just a plan that jeopardizes our homeland security and doesn't do very much at all to close that deficit gap. When a real plan is presented, I'll vote for it. Until that, I'm voting no.